Hi, welcome to June, campers. Yeah, happy June. How is everyone? It's been a while. It's been a whole month since we connected last time. Uh, so, Kian, what's new and exciting in your neck of the woods? Good question. Well, this last month I had a lot of fun with a ton of classes. I think we had four classes last month, one every single week. Uh, one of them was in person, the other three were virtual, and we had a guest lecture. It was a lot of fun. We got to learn about pollinators in the new pollinator series class. We also got to learn about queen rearing basics. Um, and we learned even more. And uh, I enjoyed being part of almost every single one of those classes. And I'd like to share that we have this new video library, which you mentioned last month. I want to remind everyone that it's on the website. We'll include the, the link in the description here. It's also in our newsletter. If you're a current candidate, you can go ahead and watch these um, previously recorded videos easily by going to that page. You can watch the guest lecture as well. And that was actually our, our first guest lecture of the year, Wendy. That was with John Philippe, and he talked all about stingless bees and his experience in Brazil and with the Mars Company and integrated pest management. Um, a very well, um, it was a, it was like a story. That's what I loved about his lecture. He, yeah, he it was. The story of his life in there. And yeah, also, it's fun, yeah. fun, fun way to learn, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I yeah. learned a lot about stingless bees. So for those of our members who are currently enrolled at a level in our program, they have access to that, don't they? Correct. Yeah. So uh, if you're a current candidate, you get access, free access to the video library. Right. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Well, I ended up at the lab for two in person classes. Uh, we did, um, well, maybe it was only one in person class. I think it was just yeah. one. I, I, yeah. I thought it was two as well. But well, I checked the it, list. It, it was like two it. days. It was two days That's uh, why, for the yeah. Queen Rearing Technique short course, which was super fun, right? And so this past month, a couple of weekends ago, Memorial Day weekend, on the Saturday, Lauren Russert, who is the PhD student in Alina's lab, did a phenomenal job on instrumental insemination it was an introduction to instrumental insemination so it that so much work was put into it it was a small gathering there were a dozen members who were really dialing in to the intricacies of instrumental insemination um, and at just the introductory level, was it was a very powerful, engaging, hands-on learning experience for all. And we know we can do it now, so more to come in that department. Um, and the other thing that I learned recently, just this past week, actually, is Bee Culture Magazine. Alina reached out to them, and they are willing to offer the California Master Beekeeper Program members a discount. So check that out in this newsletter. You'll be able to access the links for that. And we're coming up to a pretty busy month when it comes to the learning side of things, most of it virtually on the 10th of June, which is this weekend, we've got online honeybee health. So if you're interested in learning about honeybee health, please register before the end of the week so you can get a, a seat in that class. Then on Saturday, June the 17th, we'll do our online managing for Varroa class, and that will be with Dr. Alina Nino. And then we're jumping into the month of July. So we're just inviting you to put some stuff on your calendar here because in July, we've got a couple of, uh, well, one in-person experience anyways on pest and disease ID. So if you're in the Davis area and you'd like to join us on Friday, July the 14th from 9 a.m. to 3.30, please do uh, jump on the website, register. If not, it's a hybrid class. So you can watch it from wherever you're at. Uh, as well, on the Saturday, the uh, 15th, we're offering 
advanced anatomy and physiology of the honeybee as well. And that's online. Uh, no, actually, that is in person. So there you go. And online. <laughs> so again, in person and online. So back to back, double shot of in person and online. So again, jump on the website, check out the deets, and we hope to see you there. Um, yeah. One last saving of the date, we found out, and I'm sure other folks know about this, but the California Master Beekeeper Program uh, is going to be uh, doing their shtick, our shtick, at the California State Beekeepers Association meeting, which is in beautiful Orange County at the Hilton in Costa Mesa this November from November the 14th through the 16th. Historically, we've always done a day in the camp, right smack in the middle. We're doing that again this year on the, the 15th, which will be the Wednesday. And we'll have a special panel discussion toward the end of the day, which will feature some pretty incredible beekeeping uh, research scientists and, and experts in the industry. So mark the date. We hope to see you in Costa Mesa. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Just like mm -hmm. last year, it was in yeah. it was in Reno, and that, that, that was a very special event. Yeah. All the beekeepers across the land, researchers, hobbyists, um, commercial beekeepers. Uh, it's a great place to connect with others and uh, learn, like listen to to research being done all across the state. It's not just being done at UC Davis, believe it or not. Yeah, uh, yeah, completely. Yeah, yeah. so. Other than that, um, I've just been in my bees, uh, keeping them healthy, watching them grow. And I know some of the folks in my area have been pulling some wonderful spring honey. And um, yeah, it's June. It's, it's uh, June bloom time. It's beautiful. Blackberries. Uh, so things are healthy. We've had some rain up here recently, and I hope that all areas of the state, all bees are having access to some great forage out there so we can keep them healthy. And, and that's as, all. Yeah. And as you're working through this really busy time, um, if you do have any questions about beekeeping or any uh, situations that arise that you don't really know how to handle, you can always email us um, or you know, message through the Slack, which is available. Uh, for members and for current candidates. Um, so we're here to help out uh, as you as you move through these busy months uh, through classes and through any questions you have, it can help get answered. Absolutely. And take advantage of the office hours every Wednesday from four to five. And you can access uh, where to log in to book your 15 minute appointment for office hours in which part of the website again, Kian? Yes, yeah, so you want to go to the members page. Yeah. 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 And uh, Perfecto. yeah, let's connect and let's keep connected. And until we see you next time. Be, be well. well. <laughs> Thank you.